A sheet index is a centralized and structured collection of sheets in a project. You may link any sheet model from any design file of a project into a sheet index. At this point in the project, you have several sheets in some sort of state of completion. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to add these sheets to their respective folders within the sheet index. Here we are inside of MicroStation and we have opened the cover sheet DGN file from the 09 Composing Sheets folder. Let's begin by opening the Explorer. So from the ribbon, let's go ahead and click the Explorer. The Explorer dialog builds upon the foundation of the Project Explorer found in earlier editions of MicroStation. In the MicroStation Connect edition, you can manage the project data using the Explorer dialog. It is a single interface that provides a browsing function for files, links, items, resources, and the sheet index. Now, coming into the Explorer dialog, we are going to expand the sheet index panel. In this lesson, we are going to discuss what a sheet index is and how we can leverage it. A sheet index is a centralized and structured collection of sheets in your project. A sheet index can be useful in creating a construction document set that contains all the sheets in your project. You may link any sheet model from any design file of your project into the sheet index. Sheets may also be organized hierarchically in folders with the ability to override sheet numbering rules for sheets in each folder. You can then manage the properties of all the sheet models within the sheet index collectively. Sheet indexes may also be added to the print organizer print sets for printing. By default, the sheet index is read-only. This allows multiple users to access the sheet index for navigation of sheet models and printing without a sharing violation. So, next, we're going to expand the MS Basics building, then propose seafood restaurant. Here, a set of folders can be seen in the sheet index. These are placeholders for the various disciplines that are working on the project. In the icon bank of the sheet index panel, go ahead now and click the open sheet index for edit. The sheet index can now be edited. Opening the sheet index for editing is required for adding sheets to the index, modifying the sheet index properties, etc. From here, you can separate the sheets according to your organizational needs within the sheet index. So now let's select the architectural folder. We'll then click the create folder icon. Let's go ahead and name the newly created folder 000-general. Take note, you may need to click the refresh icon and expand the tree from time to time to see your changes. Now, under the architectural folder, let's go ahead and create five additional folders using these names. The second folder that we're creating here Let's go ahead and name this 100 plans. Our next folder will be the 200 elevations. Our next folder here will be 300 sections. Two more folders to create. The next one will be 400 enlarged detail plans. And then the last folder 500 details. For our next task, we'll be adding sheet index properties. To begin, we'll right click on the general folder. From the menu, we'll choose properties. In the sheet number prefix field of the properties dialog, let's type in a dash. Then with both the explorer and the properties dialog still open, we'll pick on the 100 plans folder. Again, we'll type in a dash for the sheet number prefix. In the start number field, we'll type in 101. So we're gonna continue this by adding properties to the remaining folders. For the 200 elevations folder, we'll give it the prefix A dash. The start number will be 201. For the 300 sections folder, again, A dash for the prefix. 300 will be the start number. For the 400 enlarged detail plans folder, 
the prefix will be a dash. The start number will be 401. And for the 500 details folder, again, a dash for the prefix and 501 for the start number. Now that we have built the drawing sheet index folder structure, we will add the project sheets to their respective folders. So with the general folder selected, we can click the add sheet icon from the icon bank of the sheet index panel. Here we will select the cover sheet DGN file from the 09 composing sheets folder. Then we'll click open. As can be seen, the add sheets dialog opens. Coming into this, we'll expand to view the available sheet model. As a result, only one sheet model from this particular DGN, but we must select the cover sheet and then click OK. And as such, the cover sheet is now part of the sheet index. So we're going to continue adding sheets to the sheet index. Here we'll select the 200 elevations folder and then click the add sheet icon. From here, we'll select the elevations DGN file and then the elevations sheet model. Next, we'll select the 500 details folder and then click the add sheet icon. We'll select the details DGN file and then the details sheet model. Within the 500 details folder, let's go ahead now and double click the A501 detail sheet. As you can see, the detail sheet opens. If you look in the lower right corner of the title block, that the naming convention and rules that were assigned to the 500 details folder were applied to this sheet. Observe as well the detailed drawing titles. They too have been affected by adding this sheet to the sheet index. For instance, the sheet numbering found within. Let's take a look at the numbers within the sheet index. The number next to the project root folder indicates the total number of sheets for the set. Beside each folder name, the number shown represents the total number of sheets within that respective folder. And within each folder, there are two numbers in brackets next to each sheet. The first number represents the sheet sequence within that folder, and the second number indicates the overall sequence relative to the sheet set. During this lesson, you learned how to create rule-based folders with the Explorer and link sheet models. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.